What is the history of Alaskan Malamutes and polar exploration? When we think of polar exploration, we often picture fearless explorers battling harsh conditions with their loyal dog sled teams. One breed that is closely associated with these expeditions is the Alaskan Malamute. With their impressive strength, endurance, and ability to withstand extreme cold, these magnificent dogs played an important role in the history of polar exploration. The Alaskan Malamute is one of the oldest Arctic sled dog breeds. Native to the state of Alaska, they were originally bred by the native Inuit people for hauling heavy loads over long distances. These dogs were a vital part of their survival, providing transportation and assistance in hunting. The Inuit people treasured their Malamutes and treated them with utmost care and respect. It wasn't until the late 19th and early 20th centuries that the Alaskan Malamutes gained recognition outside of Alaska. As the polar regions began to attract explorers from different parts of the world, these dogs caught the attention of renowned polar explorers. The breed suitability for the harsh conditions of the Arctic quickly became apparent. One of the most notable explorers to utilize Alaskan Malamutes in polar expeditions was Admiral Richard Byrd. Byrd led several Antarctic expeditions in the 1920s and 1930s and heavily relied on Malamutes for transportation and hauling supplies. His expeditions were among the first to extensively use dog sled teams in the Antarctic. The Alaskan Malamutes' ability to pull heavy loads and navigate treacherous terrains made them invaluable in these expeditions. Their dense fur and strong build allowed them to withstand temperatures as low as dash 78 degree F, dash 57 A degree C. This resilience and adaptability made them the perfect companions for explorers venturing into the harsh and unforgiving polar regions. Another prominent figure in the history of Alaskan Malamutes and polar exploration is Roald Amundsen. Amundsen, a Norwegian explorer, is famous for being the first person to successfully reach the South Pole in 1911. He and his team used a combination of skis and Alaskan Malamutes to traverse the icy landscapes. The dogs not only provided transportation, but also served as an early warning system for dangerous crevasses. The Alaskan Malamutes' unique howls could be heard from a distance, alerting the expedition team to potential hazards. Their exceptional sense of smell and tracking abilities were also utilized to locate supply depots along the route. Amundsen recognized the value of these dogs as essential companions in his polar expeditions. As time went on, technological advancements, such as snowmobiles and airplanes, replaced the need for dog sled teams and polar exploration. This shift marked a decline in the use of Alaskan Malamutes and other sled dog breeds in these expeditions. However, their legacy as brave and reliable companions is etched in the history of polar exploration. Today, Alaskan Malamutes continue to be bred and appreciated for their unique characteristics. They are known for their friendly and affectionate nature, making them excellent family pets. While polar exploration may no longer be their primary role, their history and accomplishments in this field are a testament to their remarkable abilities. In conclusion, the Alaskan Malamutes have a rich history in polar exploration. From their origins with the native Inuit people to being utilized by renowned explorers such as Admiral Richard Byrd and Roald Amundsen, these dogs played a crucial role in transportation, hauling, and providing companionship in the harsh and unforgiving polar regions. While their importance in polar expeditions may have diminished with technological advancements, their legacy lives on as a symbol of strength, endurance, and loyalty.